Join us now on Flickr at flickr.com slash groups slash art of photography. everybody, welcome back once again to another episode of The Art of Photography. My name is Ted Forbes and I'm your host and today what we're going to do is wrap up a lot of the framing stuff we've been talking about. If you've been watching the last couple episodes, we've talked a lot about framing and presentation and we haven't really totally gone into it, but uh, you know, I just want to give you guys some ideas of things you can do uh, you know, under a budget, things like that. Obviously, you could go to a real framer and pay a bunch of money and get a very nice result, um, but like I said last time, the problem with that is when you have a bunch of frames to do and sometimes it's just kind of cost prohibitive. Um, however, I wanted to share some ideas with you, and I kind of want to summarize it. This is a little bit shorter episode today, but I wanted to summarize a lot of these things we've been talking about. I've had people send me email questions, and I apologize. Uh, the holidays are upon us, and I haven't totally had time to uh, keep caught up with that. Uh, but I do want to address them in this podcast. Uh, people have asked me things like, can I go over printer profiles for inkjet printers? And we totally plan to do that. I just did not want to confuse the issue with framing and presentation with that. That'll be some separate episodes that we're going to get to. Um, and then I had some other people email me some some, um, some questions about, you know, uh, could I talk more about, you know, what's the what's the best way to go? What, uh, you know, just a single mat, could I do a double mat? What about metallic print or canvas wraps, things like that? And really, um, I think it's a little bit beyond the scope of what we're doing here to kind of go deep into those things. And the reason I say that is because it comes down to personal opinion and personal taste. But I do want to offer you some parting words of wisdom on this subject. Um, and that is, and this is one of the prints that we made last time, and I'll use this as an example. Um, a frame is a frame and what you don't want to do is have that get away get in the way of your photography and that is the most important thing it needs to be simple and it really needs to be transparent if it's going to be effective because people are not coming to look at a frame they're coming to see your work and that's really important so whatever you end up doing with your prints I think that's the most important thing to take away um, I mentioned a double mat a minute ago we just did single mats last time where I take a single mat a double mat it's basically you have two mats and one is slightly a smaller window than the, the larger so you kind of see a little stair-stepping effect that goes down um, and you know I think that if you have a large enough frame simple enough image and it calls for that um, I've done it before and I think it's a really nice elegant look to it uh, but again it's all personal taste um, this one we just went with a single probably because it's you know the frame is kind of you know small in comparison with the image uh, it, this is a photogram it's just a it's a corkscrew is what it is and so I really wanted to keep this elegant and simple and I kind of run this with a lot of my work I just don't tend to get real fancy as far as frames go and I think that's really important um, when you look at some of the more expensive options that you can get into with uh, you know printing companies and things like that uh, canvas wraps are one of them personally I can't stand canvas wraps and I'll just be honest with you um, the reason is is because it made it look like we're trying to do so much with the presentation that the photo were really all that good to begin with and it just is cheesy so uh, that's just my opinion there could be a situation where a canvas wrap is appropriate um, I've just not had one in my own work uh, metallic prints are really interesting they're more expensive they're harder to mount on a wall uh, but I've seen some really cool stuff done with it uh, it's almost like I'm it's not even really a frame involved with that at all it's just a metallic print it's printed on a piece of aluminum uh, but anyway that's the most important thing is you need to stay simple um, it, you, especially when you go to a place like Aaron Brothers or any of these framers there's a ton of options you're presented with as far as frames go and uh, you know again because I don't want them to get in the way of the photo uh, I tend to just go conservative with that and, and keep it minimal and I think that's the most important thing and I think probably for your work that's probably the most important thing too uh, but I can't tell you how to select that you've got to develop your own opinions um, I'll tell you one thing that's helped me though is if you haven't done it and uh, you know if you're in a small city or a big city or whatever but find a gallery opening at least or if not a museum exhibition to go to and look at uh, museums are interesting because usually the frame reflects the period that the work was done in so like you know paintings from the 17th century are going to have a really opulent uh, you know kind of gold encrusted frame around them uh, just because that was the style that day where more contemporary things sometimes there's no frame at all sometimes it's very minimal sometimes it's metallic sometimes it's black sometimes it's white you know uh, but I would I would do that to look for ideas I would visit galleries and I would look at, um, at museums also main reason I suggest those is because they're really I mean that's the ethos they're gonna go for is they want something that's going to protect the work but not get in the way and especially with a gallery because they're trying to sell the work so if the work isn't good enough to sell they probably wouldn't have it in there in the first place so anyway so for some really good framing ideas I would look at those things um, the most important things keep it minimal and keep your keep your craft really clean uh, keep them neat keep you know it's pretty 
self-explanatory stuff. So anyway, we're going to do two episodes today, actually, and uh, I'm going to move on to the second one now. So anyway, once again, this has been The Art of Photography, and thanks for watching. And one more thing, a bunch of you have left comments on iTunes, and I really appreciate it. Uh, there's some things I'm trying to do with the show to try to get further, get a little more viewers, things like that, so we can do more stuff on here. And uh, if you have a second you haven't done it already, please leave us a comment on iTunes. I would greatly appreciate it. So uh, you can see more podcasts at thepublicbroadcast.com. And once again, this is Ted Forbes, and thank you for watching.